Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this uh, tutorial series which is related with electronic section uh, from AMD. In this segment we are going to discuss about diodes. Now in earlier two sections we have seen the basics of electronic circuitry that is required for the operations of diodes, transistors and microprocessors. So here we will discuss it about the diodes. Now what will be our flow? So we will start with uh, defining the element called as diode in which we will be seeing the definition of diodes and its working principle. Now in next phase we will be discussing about uh, the first important type of diode which is called as PN junction diode. Afterwards we will see the subsequent types of diodes in which uh, we have the first type of subsequent diode which is called as Zener diode then we will be discussing about varactor diode then we will discuss about light emitting diode which we call it as LED then the most important one as tunnel diode so these all classifications we will be discussing next stage we will be discussing about the VI characteristics of diode which we call it as volt ampere or volt current characteristics Later on we will discuss about the current equations used in diodes and finally we will end up with applications of diodes. So you can expect one, one at least one question from diode section related with any of this. So we will start with the basics of diodes. Now let us define this uh, element that is that we are going to use. So we'll start with uh, defining the element as so let us start our discussion with the basics of diodes now what do we mean by diode basically diode is a two terminal device what is it we can call it as diode as a two terminal device now these two terminals are namely the first one is anode and the second one is called as the cap. So it is basically a two terminal device. How will you recognize this? See when I split this particular term from here. So we will get this first equation or first uh, term as di and this is O. So based on that we can say that it is a two terminal device or it is having a combination of two electrodes and that electrodes are anode and cathode. Now when I come across its symbolic representation, so symbolically it is denoted as like this. So we have this as the first terminal and the other one as second terminal. Now this particular terminal is called as anode and this is called as cathode. Generally we uh, uh, write it as anode and this terminal is called as cathode. However, symbolically we denote them as A and K. So this is going to be the symbolic representation of diode. Now this diodes or this simple diode is also called as PN junction diode. Okay. So simplest type of diode is called as what? PN junction diode. Now the question arises, sir, why it is called as PN junction diode? So basically we have seen uh, in the previous uh, video uh, about P type extrinsic semiconductor and N type extrinsic semiconductor. So whenever a P type semiconductor is joined with N type semiconductor, it forms a diode that is called as P N junction diode. We will see this in the later segment. Now when I consider this particular terminology, here we have terminal as anode and here it is cathode. So based on that, we can say that diode is a or it simply shows how the current flows in one direction. The most common function of diode is to allow the current flow to allow the current flow in one direction. This is most important point as far as diode is considered. 
what is the function of diode it allows the current to be flown in single direction or only in one direction similarly this arrow head you can see it here this particular arrow head indicates the direction of current i am writing it here the next point as the arrow head indicates direction of current most important point because in most of the competitive examination they have asked this question arrow head in diode indicates what it indicates it simply indicates the direction of current also it allows the current to flow in single direction or in one direction so this will be the basics of diodes that we are going to use now when i come across pn junction diode what will be the phenomena that we will see so we'll just scroll it down and i'm taking some other pain uh, for our understanding purpose so when a p type semiconductor is connected with n type semiconductor it forms p n junction diode this will be our simple definition so you can denote this as in a form of diagram or schematic also so here i am just keeping a slice of p type semiconductor we put it as p type semiconductor now we have to connect it with the n type semiconductor so i'm just keeping into mind i am just drawing or connecting this slice of n type semiconductor over here this is our n type semiconductor so when a p type semiconductor is connected with n type semiconductor sure there will be a junction this particular region this is basically the junction okay and if i treat this simply as junction so this schematic is called as p n junction diode now again uh, we can have this terminals this terminals like this now coming to the point of why p n p n junction diode is formed so basically we have seen uh, in case of p type extrinsic semiconductor we have holes what is it we have holes as majority charge carrier whereas electrons are minority charge carrier so simply i'm writing it here these are the holes and this one is our electrons okay so this is about uh, our p type semiconductor so you can put maximum number of holes over here okay sir now when i come across n type semiconductor the picture reverses now in case of n type semiconductor we know that we have electrons as majority charge so simply i'm writing negative charges over here they are majority whereas holes are minority charge carrier so we will have holes in small numbers so i'm placing like this one okay now what we have done we have connected a p type semiconductor with n type semiconductor now we know that uh, it's a universal law when a positive charge is placed near a negative charge there will be a force of attraction what is it there will be a force of attraction and due to this force of attraction the current flow takes place due to the force of attraction the charge movement takes place and due to which current conduction carries out okay so so in this in this way a uh, p n junction is formed okay so now as far as p type semiconductor is considered we know that here majority charge carriers are holes and in case of n type semiconductor we are aware of on this here the majority charge carriers will be electrons now what happens here these holes as they are positively charged they tries to attract towards negative charges Similarly, these negative charges tries to attract towards the positive charges. But when it happens, when we apply an external source, when we apply an external source with this particular P and junction type, what we have a battery connect ki hai. This ka positive terminal ho jayega, ye ho jayega negative terminal. Now this positive terminal is connected over here, and this negative terminal is connected over here. So this is how we can connect the polarity waves. There is another picture. We will see it in later segment. But here, what I am doing: positive terminal is connected to p-type, negative connected to n-type semiconductor. Okay. Now, 
how actually current flows that we will see okay sir so as we know that here majority charge areas are holes and here the polarity is positive so all these holes will try to attract towards this positive charge. whereas these electrons will try to or they try to attract they get repelled sorry we have we have some correction over here as this is a positive terminal and this is also a positive terminal so these holes will be repelled with each other they will not be attracted now due to this repulsion they will try to come down towards this particular n type semiconductor and the same happens in case of n type here the majority charge carriers are electrons so ho jayega kya this is negative charge this negative charge this negative charge they will repel each other and as they repel each other what happens again due to the force of this applied voltage these electrons will try to come into p type semiconductor this also comes into the p type semiconductor and holes will fetch into n type semiconductor now what happens sir in earlier case these holes and electrons were bounded they were not at all free but due to application of this positive and negative batteries what happens they becomes free now whenever a hole or electron becomes free what happens i'm writing it here when electron and holes are free they supports conduction what supports they simply supports for the conduction mechanism and due to which current starts to flow now what will be the direction of current this is important term so we know that current always flows from higher terminal to lower terminal okay so it flows from higher to lower terminal so obviously the direction of current will be like this okay i will just erase it term and we will note it down properly so just erasing this particular term for our better understanding so i'm just denoting this with another uh, color pen so this will be the direction of current okay so it flows in only one direction now but in which case it happens so what we have done positive is connected to p type semiconductor negative is connected to n type semiconductor then only current flows through the circuit and this particular condition is basically called as forward bias p n junction type what is it forward bias p n junction type and if i reverse this condition now what will be the reverse phenomena so the reverse phenomena here uh, we have p type semiconductor and let's suppose here i have a n type semiconductor so here obviously holes are positive uh, sorry uh, majority charge carriers and here we have electrons as majority charge carriers now we'll reverse the polarity here positive terminal was connected to p type now i will reverse it and here negative terminal and here i will place positive terminal and we'll connect them this negative terminal is connected to now p type semiconductor and positive is connected to n type semiconductor so such situations are called as reverse bias p n junction types so basically uh in case of diode we have to see these two conditions what will be the behavior of diode in forward bias and what will be its behavior in reverse bias and this entire activity should be carried out with reference to a characteristics curve and that curve is called as vi characteristics curve and it is for both it is for forward bias as well as for the reverse bias i hope you have understood whatever we have taught till now so what we have uh, we have studied uh, what do we mean by diode how it works and there are two ways in which it operates one is called as a forward bias and one is called as reverse bias so in forward bias positive terminal is connected to p type semiconductor and negative terminal is connected to n type semiconductor so this is called as forward bias and 
when I connect negative to P type and positive PN type semiconductor is called as reverse bias PN junction type.